the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 276, Nehemiah 1 to 3. Intermediate goals for the final goal. Nehemiah, who inquired about the condition of Jerusalem, prayed to God and set intermediate goals to achieve his final goal of reconstructing the desolate Jerusalem walls. First point. Both Jeremiah and Nehemiah recorded the names of their fathers in their books. Jeremiah wrote down the name of his father in his book to introduce himself. 150 years later, Nehemiah also recorded the name of his father in his book. The similarity between Jeremiah and Nehemiah was that they both learned about the kingdom of priests from their parents from a young age. We can see how faith education from a young age can change the course of history. Nehemiah's forefathers were born as captives in Babylon, and he learned about the kingdom of priests through his father. Whilst living in Persia, Nehemiah found out about the current affairs of Jerusalem. The state of Jerusalem had not changed much compared with 150 years ago. On top of that, they were experiencing interruptions from the Samaritans. Second point, Nehemiah's prayer contained a thousand years in time starting from Leviticus chapter 26. When Nehemiah heard the current affairs of Jerusalem, he started to fast and pray to God. Nehemiah's prayer was five sentences long, but in those sentences, he included the contents of Leviticus chapter 26 and Deuteronomy that asked God to govern over them through a kingdom of priests. Nehemiah firstly prayed to the merciful God. Nehemiah also confessed the sins of the people and repented. Indeed, he was well versed in the laws and the Pentateuch. Nehemiah relied totally on God and prayed with total faith. In his prayer, Nehemiah confessed that the Jews were God's people. Nehemiah asked God to hear his prayer and grant his request. Third point, after Esther, Nehemiah also negotiated with a Persian king. In between the first and second round of captivity, Esther had succeeded in making the Persian king change his edict in order to save the Jews. Extending from this, Nehemiah also asked the Persian king to issue an edict so that he could become the governor of Judea. This happened four months after Nehemiah heard about his people and since praying to God. Nehemiah told the king why he looked sad. Nehemiah was afraid because the king could have thought that Nehemiah was trying to kill him, so he immediately explained why he had sadness in his face. He explained that he was worried about Jerusalem, where his ancestors were buried. Nehemiah therefore requested to be sent to his land as a governor. We can learn from the latter part that Nehemiah estimated a short time for the restoration of the city walls project. However, it took 12 years in total. During the 32nd year of King Artaxerxes' rule, Nehemiah returned to Persia and then was sent to Jerusalem again. Nehemiah requested the king to issue an edict to return to Jerusalem and to carry out his project, and the king immediately said yes. King Artaxerxes enabled Nehemiah to become the governor of Jerusalem to pass through the Trans-Euphrates River area, to freely use the materials required 
for the reconstruction of the city walls and to use soldiers and workers from Persia. The fact that the king offered his soldiers and workers was indeed the biggest privilege. This was all possible due to the fact that the king respected and trusted Nehemiah fully. Fourth point, after three days of looking around Jerusalem, he explained to the leaders of Jerusalem why he had come. After the 70 years of captivity in Babylon, the return to Jerusalem was carried out in three stages. The first was led by Jerubbabel, and then 80 years later, the second group was led by Ezra, and then 14 years later, the third group was led by Nehemiah. The reason the Persian Empire enabled such talented people to go to Jerusalem was because they had not yet seen good results from the regional decentralization policy in the area of Levant. Unlike the second round of return of the captives, where Ezra did not ask for any military protection, Nehemiah requested protection, which made the people of Samaria anxious. Whereas the second return took four months, the third return took only three months. After looking around Jerusalem for three days, he announced to the leaders why he had come. Nehemiah saw that Jerusalem had become so desolate that while the animals were able to come in and out as they pleased and without the city walls, everything was exposed. Nehemiah announced to the people that they would no longer endure this state. Fifth point, Nehemiah recorded the names of the people who worked relentlessly with him to restore the city walls. Despite some interruptions, Nehemiah still went forth to build the city walls. Nehemiah recorded the names of the precious people who worked relentlessly with him to carry out this project. Nehemiah recorded each step of the process, starting from the gates and so on. Instead of focusing the record on himself, he wrote the names of the people that helped him and were with him. The reconstruction of the city walls meant that the people were protected from outside invasion. They were also able to prevent wild animals from entering. Nehemiah carried out this task beautifully. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.